so another arrangement guys that I have but this one is been already a year with me and this is my arrangement for Mother's Day last year so this one guys this arrangement needs an attention it has lots of webs around it and some of them has a mealy bugs attacked by mealies so this is what it looks like after a year and I have a ruby necklace on the side of the pot that is really very long and very thick in here all right so I'm just going to refresh in this arrangement guys it's still beautiful it's just need to remove all the dead leaf and treated some mealy bugs so I have a painted nodulosa here that loves by mealies I have this a bottle of uh, methylated spirit here I put some water and I'll just spray that there. and I have a paintbrush here I'll just going to brush that off and remove those um, those black stuff that the mealy bugs produce there you go I might go into spray this with some um, this washing liquid to remove all those black spots okay just check the bottom yeah. so this black spot really destroyed the beauty of the succulent we'll see if we can get them later on with the dishwashing liquid okay i think that's all right now this berry musume here i can see a mealy bug in this one as well with this berry musume here you go there's a white stuff there inside that there is a mealy i think that one has nothing so another white stuff there so i think the mealy bug moved somewhere else they just left their white stuff in this plant but aside from that it's looking good it's very red it's very stressed you see in the middle of that there's a white spot there so that is a mealy bug there you go What I'm doing now guys is I'm spraying a dishwashing liquid with alcohol and water mixture to the blackened areas called sooty mold. Um, this is a result of the mold that grows on the honey juice secretions produced by the mealy bags that drops onto the leaf and stems. But unfortunately, I don't think I can take it off. It stays in the leaf now and I will just probably wait until this plant will outgrow those ugly black stuff or sooty molds that left in the leaf. So if you have any idea guys how to remove the black stuff on the leaf, please don't hesitate to share. If you have any idea guys how to remove this black and sooty mold, please don't hesitate to share and you can help everyone that has the same problem like me. So this one is good to go guys um it's already clean and tidy up and it's already 
um, ready for another year I think <laughs> and it's still beautiful so now need to pull it out from the pot and reset again because it's still um, compact they are not elongated yet and it's still beautiful for another year so here we go guys I'm going to put this one back in the shelf and anyway uh, this time the sunlight or the sun is not so intense even though I treated it with the uh, methylated spirit I think it will not get burned because it's very cloudy at the moment and the sun is not so intense So here's another one guys that is also a beautiful arrangement so I use Echeveria Elegance another Crassula variegated one Haworthia Zebra and also this one is made with love and my Muscusa this Bronze Delight and I think this is Agavoid's Limer or Mira either of that two and I also put a little bit of this Wandering Jew to add some color good for a present for loved ones or friends simple like this makes someone happy so this is made with love and all what I use here are just common succulent like this purple to dark, green color, then we have the sedum clavatum, and I put one of this variegated crassula, pretty beautiful, and also for my filler, I put this muscosa here, and in the middle I have this jade coral. That is hiding in there and this is really growing nicely and growing healthy and i use this uh, kitchen bowl <laughs> and that kitchen bowl only cost me two dollars and this is very pretty for a gift for mother's day or even just a present for a friend very beautiful and lovely so another arrangement guys this arrangement is in white jar with this beautiful Haworthia zebra a jelly bean that's still green and it's also made with love and I have a beautiful golden glow here Echeveria golden glow in this arrangement so gorgeous it's really popping out pretty and i also have this so i'm not sure what's the identification for this one guys but i'm going to put on the screen the name for this beautiful sucker here here it is it's flowering at the moment i should remove the flower so the aphids or mealy bugs were not going to attack it and there you go so beautiful in this white jar this is gorgeous to give us a present for Mother's Day as well. So happy Mother's Day everyone. And to all mothers out there and around the world, wishing you all a very special Mother's Day and good relaxing day. You deserve a special day of pampering. And also I wish that all mothers will be in good health always. And to my wonderful mom, I want you to know that I love you always. I'm so blessed to have you as a mom. And even we are far apart, I want you to know that we are thinking of you always. Happy Mother's Day, mom. I love you. So 
so that's it for now guys i hope you like our video for this weekend and if you enjoy watching this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are my viewers and you're not subscribed yet please consider to subscribe it will mean a lot to me if you do so and don't forget to leave me a comment in my comment section and i will get back to you as soon as i can and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so every time we have a new video you will be notified and you will not miss a thing so guys i will see you next time bye